Welcome to our tutorial on web scraping with Python. Today, we're going to learn how to gather data from multiple websites quickly and efficiently, saving time and effort. Web scraping is all about extracting data from the web. A web scraper is a tool that performs this task. And Python, with its ease of use and rich library ecosystem, is the perfect language for it. Let's dive into how you can build a simple Python scraper. In this tutorial, we'll cover prerequisites, the best Python web scraping libraries, building a web scraper, and some FAQs. To build a Python web scraper, you need the following prerequisites, Python 3.4 plus pip. Python offers several libraries for web scraping. Let's explore the most important ones, Request, Beautiful Soup, and Selenium. Requests simplify HTTP requests. Beautiful Soup allows you to parse and interact with HTML and XML documents. And Selenium, perfect for dynamic web pages, can automate browser actions. Now, let's build our web scraper. We'll use a site called Quotes to Scrape for this tutorial. Our goal is to extract data from this site and convert it into a CSV file. Step one, choosing the right Python scraping libraries. It's crucial to pick the appropriate libraries for your scraping needs. Start by visiting your target website and using your browser's inspect tool to check if the site relies on JavaScript for data retrieval. For static content sites that don't use JavaScript dynamically, like Quotes to Scrape, Beautiful Soup, and Requests are ideal. As you can see on the screen, we're analyzing the network activity to make this decision. Beautiful Soup combined with Request is perfect for such scenarios, offering efficient data extraction without the overhead of a tool like Selenium. Step two, initialize your Python web scraping project. It's important to set up your environment correctly. Using an IDE like PyCharm can simplify this process. As you can see on the screen, we'll start a new project naming it python-web-scraper and prepare a script file named scraper.py. Remember to install the necessary libraries by running pip install request beautiful soup 4 in your terminal. As shown, this installs both request and beautiful soup. Step three, connect to the target URL. The first step in scraping is to access your target website. Here we'll use the request library to fetch the page. As you can see on the screen, we use a simple request.get command to retrieve the quotes to scrape website. Pay attention to the page.txt property, which will contain the HTML content we need to parse. Step four, parse the HTML content using beautiful soup. Pass the page.txt to the beautiful soup constructor as shown here to create a navigable structure of the web page. With the soup object now created, we can start selecting elements from the web page. Step five, select HTML elements. Beautiful soup provides various methods like find and find underscore all for selecting elements. You can select elements by tag, ID, text, attributes, and class as demonstrated on the screen. For our project, we need to identify the HTML elements containing quotes, authors, and tags. Using this browser's development tools as shown here helps in identifying these elements. Step six, extract data from elements. Initialize an array to store the scraped data. Then apply the .quote CSS selector to extract quote elements as instructed on the screen. Iterate over these elements to retrieve and store the quote, text, author, and tags. Step seven, implement crawling logic. To navigate through multiple pages, look for the next link on each page, as shown here. Use a loop to visit each page until there are no more pages left to scrape. This way, you can scrape data from an entire website. Step eight, extract the scraped data to a CSV file. Using Python CSV library as shown on the screen, we'll write the scraped data into a quotes.csv file. This step transforms your scraped data into a structured format. Step nine, let's put it all together. The final script, as you can see here, combines all the steps into a cohesive scraping tool. This script will crawl the entire quotes to scrape website and gather all the data we need. Finally, run your script in PyCharm or using the command line as shown. Wait for the process to complete and you'll have all the data neatly organized in a quotes.csv file. And that's it. Congratulations, you've just built a functional web scraper using Python. However, web scraping comes with several challenges. In detail, anti-bot and anti-scraping technologies have become increasingly popular. This is where proxies come in. A proxy server acts as an intermediary between your scraping script in X and the target pages. It receives your requests, forwards them to the destination server, receives their responses, and sends them back to you. This way, the target site will see their IPs and not yours. That means hiding your IP to preserve its reputation and save your privacy, avoiding bans and geo-restrictions. 
Thanks to rotating proxies, you can get fresh IPs at every request to bypass even rate limiting systems. It only remains to select a reliable provider that can give you access to top-notch proxy servers with reputable IPs. Bright Data is the most popular proxy provider in the world, serving dozens of Fortune 500 companies and over 20,000 customers. Go to brightdata.com to learn more about our proxy services.